your siblings, but you live together next to them? No, his wife went to go see Kevin Hart. Can I record a message for your wife on, on your phone? Oh, are you really gonna let me do it? Oh, shit! It was my dream to do this beside an all-state insurance. <laughs> you put everything in one strip mall here. H&R Block, all-state insurance, jewelry store, acupuncture, get a job, have some Korean, you fuck, and get the hell out of here. <laughs> That's a full day in other towns. All over the place. That's one parking job here. Almost didn't make it, not gonna lie to you though. You've decided also to just rip up a whole road. <laughs> There's just nothing there. That's been happening for 40 years. <laughs> From the fucking darkness, what? This guy has the deepest voice. It sounded like God was talking. <laughs> That's been happening for 40 years. <laughs> for 40 years they've been digging that shit up. <laughs> They're doing nothing about it. Dig it up. We did this last year. Hey, shut the fuck up, dig it up. <laughs> we don't need a road here. Welcome to Tucson. That's brilliant. Welcome to Tucson. Good luck. You can find a road, you can drive on it, asshole. But for 40 years, we've been ripping them the fuck up. That's right, you want to make it here, you got to earn it. My GPS on my phone kept going, turn right, turn right. I'm in an argument with a phone. Where, where, where the fuck am I? It's dirt there. There's no road. They've, I can't turn right. I'm, I'm trying to stay in between the fucking pylons that they built around a go-kart for Christ's sakes. Thinking, yeah, that'll do. Every fucking car is the same size as a go-kart. Keep right, keep left, fuck you. No road, 40 years of this shit, they've been doing it. <laughs> I saw it one area, two arrows pointed at each other. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Where do I go? Go that way, just kidding, go that way. Did you want it the road? Not there, fuck you. <laughs> and then, and then, just, just as an extra fuck you, a tiny blue sign, business access. No wonder you put everything in one strip mall. If you, if you got here, you want to park and make it a fucking day. You're not going to, I don't even know how to get out of here. It's hard for us to. <laughs> you know, are you the creepy laugh guy too? Yeah, bro. <laughs> Fuck, that was brilliant. This, this, guy's, this guy's been waiting to get that off his chest for years. I don't know how to say it. Is everybody going through this? Then finally, a guy from Canada lives his dream in a strip mall beside an ancient art block, and you're like, this is it for me. It's hard for us too. Don't think it's easy living here. I haven't been home in three fucking weeks. I keep saying turn right. I don't even know where I live, for fuck's sakes. <laughs> it 
I would believe it too. Like, <laughs> you look like the guy that you'd find in a car just circling the... <laughs> That's why the beard is that long and the... No... <laughs> Do you live here? I, I honestly, I don't know. I, <laughs> I'm just turning where the arrows are telling me to turn. It says business access. I haven't seen a business for miles. <sighs> I'm glad we got that out for you. This is probably a cathartic night. You'll sleep well tonight. Not in your own bed, because you can't get there, but somewhere. Probably in here. There's got to be a hotel in this strip mall, I'm sure. <laughs> sure, in the back of H&R Block, they got an Airbnb or some shit. Something's going on here. <laughs> What's your name, my friend? Michael. You from Tucson, Michael? No. <laughs> I love the deep breath, man. <sighs> no. Where are you from? All of my dad was Air Force. What? My dad was Air Force. Y your dad was Air Force. Where where are you from? <laughs> oh, you're all over. Is that what you're saying? Oh, I got. It. Okay, sorry. I, I I thought this took a weird turn. I was like, oh fuck, is this? Are you his nurse or something? Like, I didn't know. <laughs> Scary moment there. Where are you from? My dad's in the Air Force. I... <laughs> Dude, that laugh is wicked. I want to take you on the road with me and just have you move like table to table just to fuck with people. <laughs> You'll be used to it because you're from all over. <laughs> That's great, Michael. Thanks for being here, man. I appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you for being here. Hey, let me tell you something. It took a lot to get here, you know? Do you work, Michael? Yeah. What do you do, sir? Amazon. What do you do for Amazon? Ship packages. <laughs> Are you selling weed on Amazon? Is that, is that what I'm hearing? <laughs> No wonder you don't want anybody to know where you're from. I didn't even know you could do that on Amazon. Good for you, Michael. You found a fucking loophole. <laughs> Sir, what's your name, my friend? Uh, Jody. Can I say that you look to me like the opposite <laughs> of Michael? In the sense of where he is not from one particular place, travels around and ships packages of weed <laughs> utilizing Amazon. You seem like somebody who planted some roots somewhere, has a day job that you can fully explain without giggling to yourself. <laughs> Am I right, Jody? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, I thought so. Are you from Tucson? Uh, no, sir. Where are you from, Jody? Uh, Idaho. Was your dad ever stationed in Idaho? <laughs> what, do you, what do you do for work, Jody? Uh, I, I run hospitals. You run them? You're not a doctor. You're not a nurse. You fucking run it? Yes. <laughs> That's amazing, man. How, how many, like, how many are you running? You don't even know? Like, you... You lost count? That's how fucking many hospitals you have? 
how many do you run? Look, bro, I, I run a lot of fucking hospitals. I don't have time to remember precisely how many of them I run. That's how smoothly they're fucking running. <laughs> do you own them or do they bring you in? The, to, no, 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 I just work there. But you don't just work there. You fucking run them. Like, can you fire a doctor? Yes. That's fucking power, man. That's power. Think about some, some people in here are probably management positions, right? Maybe you worked in retail, and if you fired someone that sold clothes, you were firing maybe a teenager. They're gonna be okay. This guy's firing fucking doctors. <laughs> Holy shit, Jody. How, you must wake up hard every day. I fucking would. Are you kidding me? Just wake up like, what is going... Oh, yeah, I run this fucking shit. <laughs> Do you have a question? You're raising your hand. I'm sorry? She's in HR. She's in HR? Yeah. Thank you, Michael. Fucking hilarious. Uh, quickly, sorry. I just to interject here while you're talking about that guy being hard. Um, don't know why this came into my mind. She is in HR. I just I I didn't want you to finish before I mentioned so when I got back in the van and circled the fucking town again looking for a new home, I would, have, I would have definitely thought back on this and thought, I'm gonna regret it if I don't say something. <laughs> You're in HR, what's your name, ma'am? Tiffany. Tiffany, and are you? I don't fire doctors. What's that? I don't fire doctors. You know, I didn't think so. Not everyone does. But there are some people in life who look at the people they want to fire and they say to themselves, what if I could fire a fucking doctor? And to most of us, we would turn around and say it'll never happen. But one man, one man runs more hospitals than he can even count on his fucking fingers. But you do get to hire and fire people. That's awesome. Teenagers in retail. What is it? It's teenagers in retail? <laughs> for, for what? At Walmart. Walmart? They have an HR department? I would have never thought that. I would have bet any money they were letting the greeters fire people if they wanted. You've been here the longest, Art. Tell him. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> Get the fuck out. <laughs> What's that? Show us your receipt. Show us your receipt. That's what you tell people you fire? <laughs> You're fired. Go get anything off the shelves you want, but you show me your fucking receipt. <laughs> this is... <laughs> All right, I'll take that out of your last paycheck. Now get out of here. <laughs> Walmart HR, that's wicked. Do you work in an office or do you, are you in, on the floor searching for people doing a shitty job? <laughs> Excuse me, where's electronics? I don't know, and then you pop out, unbelievable. <laughs> You're fired, show me your receipt and get the fuck out. Do you have to wear the vest? Or do you get, you still have to wear the fucking vest? You're the HR department, no pants suit. <laughs> do you guys know them? Are you friends? We're neighbors. Oh, wicked, do you get a good deal at Walmart? What's your name, sir? 
Daniel. Daniel, and what's your name, ma'am? Liz. Liz, and are, are you guys dating or married? <laughs> You're siblings? <laughs> but you live together next to them? No. No, his wife went to go see Kevin Hart. His wife went to see Kevin Hart? Nice. Daniel, do you have a phone? Do you have a phone on you? Can I record a message for your wife on, on your phone? I just wanted to know how much I appreciate this. Oh, are you really gonna let me do it? Oh, shit! Sick, bro. Awesome, thanks, man. What's her name? Chelsea. Is this? No. It's a video. <laughs> She's at Kevin Hart. She's not gonna fucking pick up. <laughs> Hi, Chelsea. My name is Jeff Leeson. I'm a stand-up comedian from London, Ontario, Canada, living my dream here in Tucson, Arizona. <laughs> now, here's the thing, Chelsea. You wouldn't know any of that because you chose to go see Kevin fucking Hart. <laughs> Where? Downtown. Downtown somewhere. Your husband doesn't even know where you are. He's here with, with his sister. That's what he... I thought they were neighbors with the guy with the weed in the Walmart HR department. Anyways, Chelsea, I just wanted you to know that I'll remember this forever. I've never had somebody tell me an audience member chose Kevin Hart over me flat out. To be honest, he could have lied. He could have said literally fucking anything and I would have bought it. So you got a good man, Chelsea. That's a guy who's telling the truth, whether somebody likes it or not. Even if somebody lived their dream of coming to Tucson, Arizona, had to drive over a pound of dirt to get into a strip mall where they have fucking everything, even in that case, he still said to that guy, my wife chose fuck you over Kevin Hart. That's what you missed, Chelsea? <laughs> now I know right now, Kevin Hart is on stage in front of 70,000 people, but the 63 in this room are certainly enjoying themselves. All right, thank you, Chelsea, and best of luck with your husband. You guys have been a lot of fun. Thank you for not going to see Kevin Hart. I appreciate it. Good night. <laughs>